I am searching prospects. The search prospect function, that means I'm searching the database for the word blog. If somebody is looking for people who have ever used the word blog in their profile, that's what this search will find. So and it's searching the, the database. Uh, search prospects function will run in the background and will scan your prospects profiles for keyword pattern matches. Click OK to search the prospects. So all I did was I typed into this box the keyword blogging, blogger, WordPress, okay, so there, everything that has to do with blog, blogger, blogging, WordPress, <laughs> okay, will be found and searched, as you can see, searching, and the number's going up, 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 over 400, and they found one person who uses this somewhere in their profile. Let's scan this way and see if we can discover why. Their home page is Blogspot. So they've got a Blogspot. That would be another one to add. So let's add, because people who have Blogspots, if they actually want to monetize them, of course, apparently blog, the word blog was enough uh, to find Blogspot too. So the people who um, are on Blogspot, you might want to teach them how to actually host their own domain. <laughs> and uh, have way more control over it and monetizing it and without breaking terms of service of the free hosting hosted blogs at uh, blogspot.com. There's another blogspot. So we're finding a lot of blogspots, websites is what we're finding. And uh, those people are blogging for free, but they're taking a risk at losing their blog content. I'm looking for things that people might want to be monetizing. You know, we might, let's say your niche is you're teaching people WordPress blogging you know, or affiliate marketing on marketing with a blog. Well, it's probably better to be monetizing on a blog on your own domain. So uh, you might want to teach them WordPress or other places, uh, you know, having their own site basically instead of taking the risk of losing their blogs on a free hosted blog like Blogspot, for example. So let's see what this comes up with. So you can see that I've let some time go by here, and uh, it's search, searched over 14,000. It's found 36 matches for these words, WordPress, Blogspot, Blogging, Blogger, Blog. And I probably could have just done Blog cause, and WordPress, because that's all of those have the word Blog in it. But let me show you how I did this. You notice that I put where to search on prospects. Normally we have this on Skype. So you can actually search your prospects and then you enter the keywords like I showed you here. It's a WP, you know, and then you hit add. So I'm not going to add that one. And then you hit search. That's it. Okay, then once you have all these, um, this is actually a more targeted list, then you can start to put them, you know, you can right click and, and select all. You can save users to a file. That's actually in the right click menu. Save users to file. It's also up here. User actions. Save users to file. It's a targeted list that you can save in a file. And then, of course, you can also um, move them to a category. You can create a Skype list or a category and add to category and add them as contacts and start messaging them about blogging. And that would be how to build a targeted list with a keyword search of your database or the prospects. The prospects is your database. It says check if, only, if you only want to search the profiles database. So that's it for this lesson. That's how to build a targeted list using a keyword search or patterns, keyword pattern search, which you add here, uh, bringing up targeted people. And of course, you can now right click and add. We don't have ads. So if you wanted to add the contact, you know the normal 
procedure here. You would, under user actions, add two contacts. And then you would send them a text message <laughs> after you add them about your niche. So you can use any word in this pattern window that it's related to your niche. And if it's in their profile anywhere, it could be their username, their display name, it could be in their um, in their website, it could be in their about, let's see, there's their home page. That way they can monetize it all they want. So here's some words in their about string. I don't know if it's going to let me, if I click about, I should be able to sort. These search <laughs> prospects will um, search in their full profile. So any words they use in their mood message, which is the message next to their picture in Skype, or their about. So that's building a target list of possible likely prospects for your niche. So uh, whatever your niche is, you'd put words that people might use in their profiles. Now remember, people who, they may not use words in their profiles, but anyone who does out of that huge database will be pulled up here. Now we've brought, the, brought it up to 39 matches for any of these words. So that, that's it. That's the message magic training for today. Julie out. I just wanted to show you before I stop the search. The numbers are still increasing. It's at 180 and still rising. If I were able to let this run, there it's still increasing, 181. So that's a lot of targeted prospects. Happy prospecting on Skype and with message magic.